So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic detail washing a wax coming up. Hi, my name is Mike with Spitshine Detailing. And today we have a Toyota Highlander that we're going to be detailing. And on this detail, we're going to consider this like a real basic one. They don't want too much into it. So we're going to do a wash. We're going to do a wax. We're actually going to seal the paint. Um, we're going to clay bar it on the inside, we're going to vacuum it out, and we're going to have everything nice and detailed. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and do a walk around with you to show you all the dirt and grime that's on it, and we'll keep going through the process. Alright, so let's do a quick walk around so you can see the dirt. Now as you can tell, there's just all kinds of bugs and guts on this front end. You can see the dirt all over the hood more bug guts yeah we, we got a ton on the the grill and stuff to take care of on the windows same story side mirrors same thing I have a little sunlight there now if you see I've got metal flake in this black paint so it's, it's actually a pearl so when we get done we want to make sure that really pops you see there's no tire dressing on the tires. This vehicle is relatively new. It just it has had no tender loving care in a little bit. So we're, we're going to give it that today. Here's the back glass. Alright, and with that, we'll get everything set up and we'll start with the pre-wash. So step one in our process is going to be doing a pre-wash. So what we're going to use today is I have a pressure washer, a foam cannon. So we're going to take the pressure washer, we're going to just spray it off. Then we're going to take the foam cannon and spray the foam on and then let it sit for a while. If you don't have a pressure washer or foam cannon, then at least take your water hose on the high set and then just spray and try to get all the, the big stuff off that you can because you don't want to take the rag or or your mitt and take that dirt and rub it in as you're washing. So the object of the pre-wash is to get as much big stuff off as possible. So with that, let's go ahead and do it.
All right, so we got everything rinsed off, all the soaps off. So one thing you want to do before you do a wax or a sealant or ceramic is you want to make sure you get all the old wax, all the old sealants and stuff off of it. So I'm going to use Chemical Guys Clean Slate. And Clean Slate is actually a wax um, sealant stripper along with a car wash. So one thing you want to do when you get car washes is to make sure whatever you buy doesn't actually strip the wax and sealants and stuff that you put on there unless that's your intention. So I'll come up here real close so you can see it. Read right there, it says wax and sealant stripper, but it is a surface wash. So that's what we're gonna be using today in order to get all the old stuff off of it. After that, we'll clay bark, and when we do that, I'll take you in and give you more in-depth detail. So let's get washing. All right, so one thing you wanna do when you wash is make sure you go top down. So you wanna start with the top, hood, back, then you wanna do your sides. Um, the other thing you wanna do is as you're washing, especially on black to prevent from water spots, make sure you use a hose and constantly keep it watered down. So when I do the top, rinse it off, spray everything else. Windshield, rinse it off, spray everything else. Hood, rinse it off, spray everything else. That way you're constantly keeping it lubricated, keeping the water on there so the water spots doesn't build up and, and get clogged up here. So I'm gonna do the hood, show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you on the side. So when you're washing, you're gonna have two buckets. You're gonna have a rinse and a wash, and I've got them labeled here. And my microfiber, so I just finished the hood. And so what you wanna do is take these, and I don't know if I can get it out, but there's a grit guard in the bottom of it. So you really wanna rub it against that grit guard, get all the dirt out, wring it out, go in your wash bucket, get you some suds, and start washing. And the important thing you want to remember is always go in straight lines. One thing I do is I'm going to save the bumper for last because on this vehicle there is a lot of bugs. And so I want to spend a little time on that later. Also down here in this bottom panel, you also want to save it for last. So since I'm doing that, I'll do them together. So let's keep going. Now that we're done washing the car off, getting it nice and rinsed, what we're going to use is a waffle weave microfiber towel. And I'm also going to use Chemical Guys After Wash, which is kind of hydrophobic and it'll help get it off. So I'm going to reset up the camera and I'll show you how it works. All right, so all you're going to do is spray this on, if I can turn it on. You see the water begin to run that's going to help us in the drying and so you just want to kind of like when you wash you want to go in straight lines and then i'll flip it over come back and buff it in that's it and that's that's the way the after wash works so i'll continue on with the vehicle so we got it cleaned off, we got it dried, and now we have it indoors where we're gonna clay bar it, we're gonna get everything ready. So what I like to do when we first get it in here is this has rubber um, floor mats. 
We're going to take those off and we're going to spray them off on the side. I'm not going to take a video of that just because it's pretty self-explanatory. Also, we're going to um, put tire dressing on the tires. And a tire dressing that I'm using is McGuire Tire Gel. If you'd like to see that in the description below, I'll have a link to a review I did on it. Also, I'll put a link above for those on the computer. But with that, let's go ahead and get started on the clay bar. All right, so real quick, I'm going to show you how to clay bar a vehicle. Um, I've already taken my clay out. I flattened it out into a disc. Next, you got your clay luber. And the main thing you want to make sure with clay barring is you have lubrication on it at all times. So I'm just going to do a little section just to show you how to do it. And then we'll move on with the rest of the vehicle. Now that we've got all the glass clean, we're going to move on to our next step, and that is protecting the paint. So I'm going to use Butter Wet Wax from Chemical Guys, and I'm going to do the hood just to so you, you can see it. But after that, I'm also going to do the glass because this acts as a rain axe, and to me, I find it actually lasts longer. Um, again, in my how-to video on how to clean exterior windows, you'll see how uh, I go into more explanation of that. So let's go ahead and get started. It's been about five minutes now so we're gonna go ahead and get this wax off and you don't really want to let it sit on there too long otherwise it'll kind of cake on and it's hard to get off so about five minutes maybe ten is about as long as you want to go so let's go ahead and do it
right, now with everything clay barred, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the windshield. And in case you missed that video, I'll put one down in the description and a link above on how to do the outside windows and interior. But with now, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I've finally taken all the wax off, and I just want to show you how gorgeous this black paint turned out. See my tripod sitting over there? I'll just go around it. Where's your hood? So, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do a simple wash and wax. If there are other videos you would like to see, then by all means, leave me a comment below and we'll see if that, we can make that happen. Uh, if you like any demos, product reviews, or anything like that, leave that in the comment section. We'll see if we can get that for you. Um, as always, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell anytime we post new material. You'll be notified right then and hit that like button. Uh, any product that I use throughout this video you can find down in the description below and links on where to get it and with that I'll see you next time